there guys and gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We're now in episode 4, and I am loving this game. I am having such a good time with it. I wonder, if, I wonder if there's a way, maybe later on, that we can grow more algae? It's algae, anyway. I mean, we should be able to grow more algae. Maybe we're... It'd be kind of cool if you got some algae from these terrariums. That would kind of be cool. Um, I guess we can cancel this. Um, so the next thing on our list is we're gonna... I'm really working hard to try and make people happy. So, uh, if we go to food, we should have... Uh, don't we have a place for people to eat yet? Maybe it's under furniture. Yes! So we have mess tables. I'm gonna build a bunch of mess tables down at the end here. Four, five. Just five of them. I want to leave enough room for our cooking station. I think... I think our cooking station won't be that big. So I think if we do all these mess tables over here, we should be okay. There's a there's another building that we can eventually build called a cooking station. Um, speaking of research, uh, we've got our liquid piping done. Let's go for, oh boy, um, air deodorizer. That's not a bad idea. Lavatory. Oh, this is all stuff that's going to require plumbing. Oh, there's our manual airlock too. And the shower and the hand sanitizer. Ooh, that would make people happy. What do we need to use to make sanitizing gel. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think we'll go for... We don't need the water pur purification and stuff yet. Let's go for sanitation sciences. Yeah, we're fine dining. This will give us the cooking station and the refrigerator. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's do, that's a good idea. Get our, get our food sorted out. Perfect. Excellent. So now we're... Bit, now they have a little place. They're like little desks where they can sit and eat. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hard to see them. There's too much stuff on the ground. <laughs> oh, painting again. Awesome. So that's really improving our decor overall. Yes, that's making them very, very happy. I love it. Um, they, he still hasn't uh, sculpted this sculpture over here. As soon as that's done, that will make things a little bit nicer in that room. And I think we're going to get a new person fairly soon here. So I think we should start... Maybe we'll do another living quarters over on this side. Uh, let's do... We'll just do one cot for now. Uh, we'll start it right near the end. Yeah, we'll start start the cots down at the end because they're... And then maybe a sculpture right on the end too, I guess. Sculpting block right here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, let's go speed two. Awesome. And we're getting some research. Oh, and here comes our new person. Perfect timing. Okay, choose a duplicate. Let's see what I have for a name. Ah, here we go. Okay, the name is Simon. So, what have we got? We've got... I'm more interested in what they can't do. So this one's got uh, bladder in efficiency of minus 50%. This one's really flatulent. This one is a yokel. Uh, duplicate isn't the... Uh, can't, can't do research, that's fine. But really good at medicine, actually. Probably would be a good idea to get a doctor. So maybe let's do Stinky, but we're going to rename Stinky to... Hello? To Simon. All right, welcome, Simon, to the team. You're also a grease monkey, which gives you plus five tinkering. So a tinker, a tinkering doctor. That's perfect. Uh, print. Let's go to our jobs and slow it down just a little bit while I do this. So, Simon, you are not going to be doing art or cooking. No research, of course. No power generation. Everything else is fair game. Good. Um, more people means more work gets done. So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh. That sounded really loud. <laughs> it's funny, she, Simon climbed on top of that uh, block after it was gone and just fell. Interesting, I wonder... Interesting, so nobody's gotten stuck or anything. In, in some of the games that I had before, people were getting stuck and stuff. Like, the little duplicates were getting stuck. It was really cute. You, they Sometimes they get their heads stuck in the in the tile, and it's really interesting. So, food... Um, no, we're still getting sitting good for mush bars. Um, as soon as they're done with the rest of the digging that I've assigned them, I'm going to get them to just start collecting all of this stuff on the ground. So, yeah, as soon as they're done with all that, they should just start doing that on their own. Grabbing some more water. Uh, I didn't really want them to go for the water down below first. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're probably going to go through this water pretty quickly. Um, we, we do have some plumbing equipment available to us, but I don't think we're going to be using that this episode. We just still have... I don't know. We could... Uh, no, no. We probably won't get there in time. We're going to get the fine dining done, which allows us to build better meals for our guys. Yeah, so as long as they don't all eat, eat at once, we should have more than enough room at all times, even if we get more people. So, Oh, she's got diarrhea. That's right. This stuff causes diarrhea. Maybe getting the lavatories up fairly soon might be a good idea, but we do need to get that research done first. Uh, so far, so good. Okay, so they're digging over there. That's great. We'll get rid of this, too. The, the other cod is up. He's going to have to run all the way around. I suppose we could prioritize that. Let's prioritize that so that 
they get this done. That way you can get to the cot a little bit easier. Um, lots of oxygen. We're not getting any warnings. Um, building entombment. These buildings are too... Oh, right. Yeah, so we let's prioritize that too. So prioritize nine. That button's a little small for me. Playing in 1440p, things are a little small. <laughs> a little hard to click on sometimes. Looks like maybe J Johnny Neutron produces a lot of carbon dioxide while he's sleeping, I think. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it looks like anyway. I wonder... Probably said, yeah, let's click on Johnny Neutron. What is his details? Oh, no, that's a cot. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's, it's, oh, oh, let's slow it down a little bit. Ah, there we go. Uh, do we have any more seeds yet? No, we're gonna have to build a tile walkway to get over there. Perfect, and, oh, we're getting some of the seeds and stuff now. Perfect, yes. Uh, let's harvest these. Yep, they're doing that right now, perfect. Go speed two. Lovely. Oh, look at all. Yeah, let's take a look at our decor now. Uh, it's still not great, eh? Uh, total decor. It's a masterpiece plus 24. This is a masterpiece plus 48. This is a masterpiece piece plus 64. So, yeah, it is It is a sanitation room, so we can't expect it to be... Oh, we've got max pressure. <gasps> oh, that's not good. So we need a vacuum. So what we're going to do... So once you reach max pressure, you can't produce any more gas, right? So we're going to dig into here and relieve some of the gas that we have into that vacuum. Ooh, this is the first time that's happened to me. So that's interesting. So we we still have a lot of oxygen here, and we're still converting oxygen to carbon dioxide over here. But I'm wondering if maybe we should build... I wonder what would happen if I built tile across here. Would that raise the water level? Because we need to get that carbon dioxide going into this room. Oh, we still got this one too. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe if we had a gas pump or something, we could... Uh, I don't know. There's There's got to be a way to solve this problem. I want the carbon dioxide to go over here. Or we'll have to rebuild the terrariums down here. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. Oh, there you go. Are they... Will it actually raise the water level? <gasps> it doesn't raise the water level? So do we lose that water? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, the water just disappeared. Okay, so hold on. Cancel this. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, that killed the water. Oh, tile kills the water. Oh, no. <laughs> well, okay, I learned something. <laughs> Don't put tile down on water. It doesn't raise the water level. It actually destroys the water. Oh, that doesn't seem right, does it? Uh, not at all. Interesting. Interesting. Totally interesting. How are we doing for research? We must be getting close now. Oh yeah, we've almost got the fine dining. Yay, we're gonna be able to have some better meals for our guys. I think we're gonna start cooking again. Um, we're gonna put this on repeat, because now the cooking station allows you to turn two mush bars into one deep fried, <laughs> wonderful, juicy piece of goodness <laughs> that they really enjoy eating. But uh, it does use up a lot of your mush bars. It makes them happier to eat, but it uses up a lot of your mus mush bars. Oh, good. We've got some muck root for them to eat now, too. A little bit of variety. Variety is a spice of life, right? Oh, uh, let's build a tile here, tile here. Might as well just tile it all the way across. We're going to do it anyway. There we go. Perfect. So far, so good. You know what? Actually, things are going quite well. Um, but we are running low. Actually, algae is okay, too. We've got tons of fertilizer. Huh? Plumbing. Doing a little bit of plumbing there. You know? It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, fancy hat. <laughs> I'm glad it's you and not me. Okay. Oh, they're starting to fill up the... Uh, the. They're starting to clean up all the, the mess now, too. So that's good. That's actually something we need them to do. I'm, I'm just going to stop building for a second and let them build or uh, clean up all the junk and put them into the storage units. I don't know how much room we'll have left after all of that. Ooh, we've got... I uh, guess we've got to harvest these guys. We'll get some of those mealworm things. They like the mealworms better. They also do not cause them to have diarrhea. So that's a really positive thing. Oh, this mealwood plant just died. Okay. All right. So we can probably plant a couple more mealwood seeds here. Oh, we can plant, plant a blossomwood seed. Edible fruit. Yeah, let's do that. We've got a couple of those. Those look like a more advanced form of food. So I wonder if they can just eat the fruit outright. We might need to build some more plant potters. So uh, that is under food. Let's build a couple more of those. I don't think they need that light there, but whatever. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt anything to have it here. So we've got another plant potter here. We're going to do another mealwood seed plant. Do a quick look around, make sure nothing is attacking us. I don't think so. <laughs> it's funny. People were yelling at me because something was attacking us and I didn't notice it. The morp? I just, yeah, I missed it. Whoops. Sometimes I miss things. That's what happens. 
Um, yeah, we got actually quite a bit of food. We could, once you're done with this loaf, I'd like you to stop. Okay, we'll wait until he's done that loaf tomorrow. Okay, speed three. We're doing great. And now we, okay, so we've dug into this vacuumed area. We've uh, got a little bit less pressure. So that means that these terrariums will work a little bit more and start to eat up a little bit more of that carbon dioxide. I almost don't want to dig into these areas because there is a lot of carbon dioxide there. We might have to build some more of these terrariums down here. We actually, we're not getting a lot of pollution over here from this thing. I think it's because of these terrariums. So that's good. Lots of coal in there too, because this thing can only hold coal. Very nice, very nice. Okay, research. Next on the list for research. We've got fine dining. We're going to build those things in a second. Temperature modulation. This allows us to modulate temperature. Uh, hydrofan, small amount of heat. I don't know if we need... I think our temperature is probably fine. I, I say that now and then it could get messed up later. Gas pump. Draws gas and runs it through connected gas pipe. Yeah. I wonder if we could just pipe out the carbon dioxide where the terrariums are. The be a lot of piping though i guess i don't know um sanitation services i think we're gonna go for that now because that gives us a manual airlock and gives us some other good things the electrolyzer yeah this will also produce oxygen we're gonna go for percolation so we can produce more oxygen from water we can also filter the water and we can also distill slime into algae so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do that sounds good so that means we're gonna have to start building our water tank and i want to use up this water first before we do that Man, I'm, I'm so disappointed that we lost that water by putting tile there. So disappointing! I guess we might, well, might as well tile all the way, uh, well, no, 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 hold on. Cancel, 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 cancel this. We're going to get rid of this tile here, so X to destruct. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Perfect. And then we're going to tile all the way across. Maybe we'll use this as the tank. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. <laughs> Uh, oh, there was a little bit of water left there. Okay, we'll make use of that. Excellent. And, oh yeah, we're taking water from this one too. We have, actually, we what a great starting spot. We started with a lot of water and a lot of algae. Uh, everything else looks good. Uh, let's check our decor briefly. Okay, so let's get our cooking unit, our cooking station. We're going to build that right here. And that needs to be attached to power. Um, let's stop fabricating this. Let's produce a couple lice loaves until we are full up on lice loaves. Cooking station is up and running, so now we're going to fabricate fried mush bars. So two, uh, hold on, a deep fried solid uh, ingredients, two mush bars. So two mush bars produce one of these, but they like them. Removes disease chance from mus mush bars, so they won't get diarrhea. So that's kind of cool. We'll just uh, produce as many of those as we can. That's going to eat up our food pretty dramatically, so we do have to keep an eye on our food after this. Oh, oh good. He's finishing the last uh, mush bar. That's good. Oh, no, it turned it into a lice loaf. Okay, that's fine. So how much? Uh, we do have quite a few meal lice and we've got some more, yeah we've got some more over there we've got some up here perfect and uh i guess we might as well just harvest this one harvest we'll harvest these briar plants too sure why not perfect oh look at him he's oh that's so cool he's deep frying the uh the mush bars into uh what are they called <laughs> uh what are they called again they are called fried just fried mush bars deep fried mush bars mm, yummy sounds good <laughs> nothing like having your dirt deep fried i love it um, no new people yet. Interesting. So I wonder if it starts to slow down over time. As soon as you start to get enough people, it does start to slow down, I guess. I don't know. Let's grab the rest of this algae that's over here. We'll grab that. We'll grab this here. We'll grab this over here. I don't know if they can reach that. They should be able to. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, four. They might not be able to reach that one. We might have to build a ladder in here so they can get at that. Um, yeah, that should work. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll find out. I think you can build them sideways, too. They can just hop along on the ladders. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, though. Hold on. Let's go X. Let's destroy this. Destroy this. And let's do it like this. This way... Ha! Ah! This way they can get all the way across and grab all of that algae. We're still sitting at 1584. We're still in pretty good shape for algae. We've got our two researchers working their little butts off. We've cleaned up most of the stuff off the floor now, which is nice. Our storage compactors are full. 
I think we're just gonna need to put down more storage compactors. Uh, I don't like doing it this way. Thing is, I don't know what's gonna be important for what at this point, so I like to put my storage compactors like in more strategic locations. But in this scenario, I think we're just gonna place down more of, whoops. <laughs> Cancel build. We're just gonna put down more of these suckers. So one, two, three, it's good, excellent. And now we can put down, uh, yeah, we're going through all of that food pretty quickly. We're gonna deconstruct this guy and we're gonna put down a refrigerator. So I think that's under food. Refrigerator, we'll put that, uh, I wonder if we need two refrigerators. Probably just one for now and we'll power that up. So that should keep our food fresher longer, hopefully. There we go, and let's high-prioritize that. I want this sucker built as soon as possible. Yay, so they've got really nice food too. Lovely, 6,000 fried mush bars, fantastic. Uh, 10 lice loaves, uh, four mus mush bars left, but they're gonna eat those up pretty quickly here. And I think that's it for lice loaves. So let's start producing more mush bars. And we're probably gonna get another person fairly soon. Let's put uh, the rest of that tile down here. This used to be oxalate. And let's put down another cot because another person is probably gonna come pretty quickly. We'll do that there until we get that tile down. Excellent. Oh, the place is looking pretty nice, although the paintings are pretty much the same. He's in his uh, girl with brown hair or black hair phase. <laughs> It'd be nice if he did something a little different. So yeah, details. Interesting. Masterpiece, 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 masterpiece. Mediocre sculpture, mediocre sculpture. Yeah. Um, we'll place some more over here until I, once I figure out exactly what we're going to do over here. I think we're just waiting for that next person to arrive. I wonder how many people, how many, I mean, every person we get, actually, it does make the work go a little faster. However, however, it does mean that it's more costly on our LJ system. Yeah, the more LJ, yeah, the, it just means we are using more LJ. So let's make sure this is all except for consumable or and cultivatable soil, all except for consumable ore and cultivatable soil, all except for consumable ore and cult, whoops, all, whoops, I did that backwards. I think I did backwards on the other one too, one sec. Nope, nope, looks good. Okay, very good. So we'll, we have more spots to put stuff. And we're still alive, guys. You know, for those of you who thought I was gonna be dead by episode four, we're not dead, ha <laughs> ha. Let me just check the time here. I think we still have a few more minutes. Ah, yes, we still got lots of time. Awesome. Fried mush bars and uh, stress levels. At, wow, stress level is way high. Let's see if we can't get somebody on the massage table. I was going to do this last episode, but I forgot. Screech definitely needs a little bit of a break. So we're going to assign Screech to the massage table. And I wonder if he'll just stay there until he's all better or he'll just go there for a little bit. There he goes. That's nice. Yeah, there you go, Screech. I think we're going to build another one of those because it looks like we might have some other stressed people coming up um yeah we'll do maybe do a couple of those perfect <laughs> so that will start to come down yeah he's if he gets to a point where he's that angry he might start breaking stuff or vomiting i'm not sure i'm not sure what his deal is does he uh i'm not sure where's where does it show his information so he will vomit once he starts getting unhappy he will start vomiting we don't want that to happen it's better than breaking stuff i suppose ah there's our research research is done on percolation, this opens up the electrolyzer and the bio distiller, converting slime into algae. Actually, that's exactly what I was talking about a few minutes ago. We have a way to turn something into algae. So, one of one we probably need water for that. Um, let's let's maybe build that right away. Refinement bio distiller because we do have a lot of algae kicking around. Oh, it's it's big, it's really big, bigger than expected. Ah. Interesting. We're running out of space here. Uh, what we could do is make this a three tile room. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. If we if we destroy if we destroy these blocks here, whoops. Uh, if we if we break these blocks, all that water should run off into the bottom, right? Theoretically. And we're gonna break these down. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Perfect. Let's break all this down, guys. Let's 
get that water run off, run off into the into the bottom level there. And this will still be our tank, but we still have so much water. We could pump it out, I guess. Oh, new person! Yay! Choose a duplicate. Let me check for the name. <laughs> okay, uh, got a name. All right, so we've got a construction dude. He's got gastrophobia, naturally robust. I don't know if we, I mean, do we need building guys anymore? Naturally robust though. Immune system repels most common illnesses. That's a good one. Dri Diver's lungs allows them to, uh, <laughs> this duplicant may have been a talented opera singer in another life. Air consumption rate minus 25 grams per second. Actually, that's pretty awesome. I like the robust though too. And he's got the bottomless stomach. No, no, no. I think we'll go with construction or medicine. I think we'll go with construction, I guess. I guess. Yes, and I have a name for you, King Benje. <laughs> Welcome to the team, King, King Benje. Awesome, let's get you set up on your jobs. So you are definitely going to be combat, no art, no research, no power generation. Everything else is good to go. You're definitely a, a good builder for sure. So that's that's good. Have we built everything that we needed to build? Yeah, I think so. So the water is running off, but really slowly. So let's put the tile down here. We're gonna kill this one. Actually, we'll kill all of these across. And let's start breaking down the rest of this. It looks like we're, we're gonna have to break it all down in order to make this work. So we'll do another tile over. Oh, oh, he, he knocked himself out. He fell in. Oh no, I'm so sorry. He's, is he drowning? I hope not. <gasps> Don't drown. Don't drown. Okay. I wonder how long it takes for them to drown. <laughs> interesting. It's interesting. Oh, I can't zoom out for some reason. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Okay, so good. Let's get, uh, let's get all this broken down. We'll get the rest of that water taken care of. Bring it all down to the next level. Beautiful. Beautiful work, gentlemen. Lovely. Um, we can probably plant that new mealwood seed here. Perfect. How are we doing for food? Food's okay. We've got an ample amount of food. We've got some extra algae in our system now. And uh, once we've got this sort of all figured out here... Man, I almost should build a pump right away and get that water taken care of. Uh, research. Oh, right. We need to start researching sanitation sciences. I think, I wonder, you know what? I'm gonna experiment with the pumps. Um, let's do, let's do a pump down here. Let's do a liquid pump right here. Oh, uh, liquid pump, copper ore. Why can't I build it? Oh, I can do it. I can do it over here, but I can't do, oh, it's because there's a plant in the way. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll do it right here. We're gonna get some power down to that sucker. Wonder if we can get shorts. I don't know. That'd be interesting. And then plumbing, we're going to get a liquid pipe from here over and then up. We're going to go through the wall like this. Whoop. I think we just go like that and then we do a liquid vent like that. So we're going to have to break this wall temporarily so they can get in there and do that work. Maybe we'll put, uh, you know what we'll do is we're going to put, oh, we don't have that research done. Yeah, we're researching the, uh, the manual airlocks. That's going to be really important. But uh, yeah, so this should theoretically pump no liquid output. Right, so they still need to get the rest of the piping in there. So I want to get all the water out of here for now so I can actually finish building everything. I, I hope that'll work. I hope so. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, speed two, yep. Look at building. Oh, I see. Let, you know what? We're just gonna get. We're just gonna harvest this. We're gonna get rid of this. So it's all level in here. There we go. <gasps> oh no! What happened? Oh! <gasps> oh no! Cold Fia! What happened? You died from suffocation. What? Oh, there was no way to get down to the bottom. Oh, no, our first death. Oh, we didn't have a ladder going down far enough so they couldn't get out of there. Or he was stuck by the... Uh, they, oh, no. 
<laughs> Our first death here lies Cold Fia. He, he, he was such a wonderful digger and builder. We will miss you. Oh my god. He was also a researcher. Oh, your knowledge, the knowledge you imparted to the colony will live on forever. Oh, that is just, just a tragedy. That's the first time I've had somebody die for any reason. Oh, that's terrible. But we get to build something because of that. We get to build, hold on, uh, decor. We get to build a tasteful memorial. We're going to put that, uh, I think we'll put that right here, close to where he died. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Cold Fia. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I made a mistake. He couldn't get back up, and he died from suffocation. Oh, that's tragic and terrible. But you know what? Such is life when you're in the colony. Things can happen. Anything can happen. So we're going to dig those out. Perfect. So yeah, note to self. Keep a ladder in your water. Interesting. So we're all, we've almost got that uh, fully built. Oh, we're building we're building the memorial. That's good. That's good. I wonder if they take the body. They probably put the body on the memorial. I bet you that made everybody very unhappy. How's our stress level here? Vitals. Whoops. Uh, stress level. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. Screech is almost back up to par. Back up to zero. That's great. Our stress level has come down from 50% down to 13%. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. We could assign. Let's see. Let's go to vitals. We could assign... Who's got the highest? So Chasen. We'll assign Chasen to this one. And we're going to assign... Jimmy Neutron to this one. That way they can all have a massage when they're ready to do so. How are we doing for LJ? LJ's still at 1138. We're still in pretty good shape. Let's dig this out. Man, I feel so bad. I feel so bad that somebody died. But on the other side of it, I'm, I've been kind of wondering... What it looks like when somebody dies. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get to watch it happen. Maybe you guys saw it happening. I didn't see it happening. He was underwater. I couldn't see it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. R.I.P. Coldfia. <laughs> uh, but it does... It probably adds to the uh, attractive decor, which it did, which is very nice. Excellent. So, yeah. We'll, we'll replace you, Coldfia, with somebody uh, not nearly as good as you, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> you will be remembered. Ah, our refrigerator is working perfect. Wonderful, this is actually going fairly well. Aside from the death, aside from dead people, it's going fairly well. We need to finish this up here. Let's uh, try and get that done before the end of the episode. Let's build that. Oh, I don't know how much time we have left. We can't have that much. Oh yeah, we're, we're totally out of time, but I wanna build this uh, this vent first, uh, this uh, pipe, this pipe vent first, the liquid vent. Um, we're gonna continue building this tile over piece by piece. And on here, we're going to put a, where is it? Refinement. We're going to put the bio distiller over here. We're going to place that right here. So it's going to have to have water. So I wonder if we can, we can multi-purpose and we can use this to pump into here too. Water and slime. And we're going to have some slime very quickly. Interesting. Uh, I need them to finish off that pipe though. We're still alive, we're still okay. I'm a little sad because we lost somebody, but we have tons of food, tons of food. We're actually in great shape for food. I'm gonna stop producing this for a while. I'm gonna do whatever we can for meal lice. Um, we're gonna harvest these guys. I assume if you don't harvest them soon enough, they will, uh, they'll die. So you have to be on the ball. Ooh, we've got another blossom seed. Let's plant that, excellent. Oh, why are they not growing? Overheated. Oh, it's too hot to grow them. Oh, cancel. So let's do the mealwood seed here. So we might have to have a different room for the blossom seeds, or we might have to reduce the temperature. I don't know. What's the ideal temperature for these guys? I wonder if it says. Doesn't really say. Maybe it doesn't have a ideal temperature. Maybe just having... So this is why you need temperature control for things like plant areas and stuff. Oh, we might as well grab that while we're here. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have time for. I, I, I guess we'll have to finish this pipe next time. I don't want this to go on too long. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series. I love this game. I'm having an absolute blast playing this. And uh, if you have a chance to get this, there is a... Uh, you can actually buy this directly from the developer. I didn't know this. This was actually gifted to me from one of my awesome community members. So uh, yeah, I, I believe you can actually buy this from the developer themselves. It is still in alpha, so it's not perfect. It's not done, but it's. I haven't seen any serious issues up to this point. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we will talk to you later. Take care. Bye!